analog experiments anywhere. I present here an extremely low cost approach to experimenting with analog electronic circuit. I have built two USB connected microcontroller based electronic units whose construction details and software are shared for anyone to use. The first unit AJ SIGGEN is a direct digital synthesis based signal generator which provides sine and triangular waves with adjustable amplitude and offset. This unit cost me only $21. The second unit AJ Simple Scope is a two channel oscilloscope providing continuous sampling rates up to 100 kilo samples per second. Common digital storage oscilloscope features such as spectrum analysis, waveform capture and data saving are provided. This unit cost me $28 to build. I will now demonstrate the use of these units to conduct typical experiments using the analog system lab starter kit developed by Texas Instruments India. This kit is designed to provide students an exposure to the fascinating world of analog and mixed signal processing. The first circuit being tested is a non-inverting comparator with hysteresis which has been connected on the kit following this circuit diagram. Using the Windows graphical user interface, the signal generator is set for a 4 volt sine wave at 1 kHz which is fed to the comparator input. We open the oscilloscope application. The simple scope which is connected to the USB appears as a COM port to which we make the connection. We then use the run command to capture the signals. We can now see the square wave output of the comparator. Instead of observing the waveforms of the comparator with respect to time, we can acquire them in XY mode which clearly demonstrates the characteristics of the comparator and the hysteresis. Using the save command, it is possible to save the acquired characteristics as an image file onto the PC. The second circuit which is being demonstrated is a voltage controlled oscillator operating as a function generator as per the circuit diagram which you see on the screen now. Capturing the waveforms with respect to time we see the triangle and square wave outputs which are typical of a circuit of this type. An important feature of any oscilloscope is to provide a spectrum display. This can be achieved by changing to the digital Fourier transform display mode as seen on the screen. Note how the frequency and amplitude values are automatically displayed at the mouse cursor. These units require a higher than novice level experience to build but by sharing the construction details I encourage senior students and laboratory supervisors to build these systems for their electronic laboratories. Thank you very much.